So chapter 3 is a really quick chapter. First thing we're going to do when we load in is we're going to swap back to gum. And that's because gum has better air cornering as before. And we're going to use that really early on in this chapter. Actually, I say that it's so short it's basically halfway through. Anyway, you're going to go into Kakudai Heights. You're going to use some cans to boost into this area here, which will give you a shortcut to the sewers. If you want to go for a few frame boosts here, feel free. It's a good spot to go for them. Hey <laughs> And then you're going to fall into this trap here, and you've failed, and you've got to reset the run. Oops! Well, while we're here, we're actually supposed to be here. This is the main method of doing sewers, which is sewer skip, which skips the entire level. There's another way of doing this, which we'll get to later, but for now we're going to just wait for DJ Pesquet to laugh at us. And we're going to see Garum laugh at us as well. Uh, a lot of people are laughing at us this chapter. Like I say, this is a really quick, really laid back chapter, so it's it's quite nice. So this cutscene's gonna play, and at the end of the cutscene, Garm's gonna tell you you gotta do a little tutorial for half pipes before he lets you continue. So the first thing we're going to do is go up the side of the half pipe and press A, and we'll do a jump. And he wants us to do three more of those, so we'll do that again. And then once we've done the third jump, we're just going to keep going back and forth, holding X going up the side of the half pipe, we'll automatically do a hand plan. And he's going to ask us to do one, then three. So if we just, you know, go back and forth, hold X on the way up, and you'll automatically hand plant when you reach the rail. So you don't have to time it. And just keep going back and forth doing this, and at the end of this section, he'll ask you to jump, you just jump, and you're done with the Garm tutorial. It doesn't take long at all. So he's going to drop down these beams and you're going to jump onto the beam and you're going to boost jump off the edge having neutral on the thumbstick when you jump and then as soon as you jump holding right. So boost, jump, right. Easy peasy. Just again, boost, jump, right. If you've done it right, you won't talk to Garum, and you're allowed to just go into bottom point without having to do all the switches. Coming into bottom point, we want to boost over here. Use the half pipe to take us closer to this little spiral here. Jump into the middle, and jump through all these blues. And then you want to make sure that you're reversed, so press Y and do a single Y trick. And when you get to the kind of the little corner of this orange pipe here, you want to jump to the left kind of into that beam there. I missed it here, but you can see it this time. And you go through, and it's going to respawn you at the Poison Jam fight spawn. Before we start the PJ fight, it's worth quickly going over how graffiti health works in this game. Graffiti health is actually the amount of seconds, not the number of cans you spray. And in this instance, we basically need to use all 30 cans to their fullest potential. Small things like knocking into Poison Jam or losing the lock-on briefly will make it so you could potentially get what's called can scammed because you didn't get the full spray on one of your sprays. With this in mind, starting the event, we're going to go straight to the left and to the right to collect the cans on the rail while keeping close enough to the third Poison Jam to spray them down. You'll have about five or four cans here depending on how well you did this section. So you want to come down here, pick up some cans here, and grab this blue. If you need additional yellows you can grind that rail a bit as well. You want to grind the poison jam that's in front of the second one and follow him down. And if you do it right you can follow him over here and spray him down before he enters the third room. Then you can turn around, stock up on cans again and make sure you've got a full 30 and then follow this poison jam here, making sure you don't get too close or too far away, and use the full 30 cans to spray them down. And you've done it, you've beaten poison jam, easy peasy. So before we move on to chapter four, there is one quick trick I need to go over, and that is cucumber. Now, the first thing I need to say is, even though cucumber can save a minute and a half, 
it's not worth resetting your runs over it early on. It's notoriously difficult even for the top runners to get consistently. And I'm going to be honest, you can almost certainly save the one and a half minute time save by just playing better throughout the rest of the run. It's nice to have if you can get it, but it shouldn't be the be or end all of your runs. So there's no reason not to really go for this starting out as long as you know kind of roughly what you're going for. So you're going to kind of jump towards the end of the half pipe here and try and get a kiss on this rail. But also be relatively low on the half pipe when you hit the kiss. So in slow motion, we're going to set ourselves up. And you're going to have to come up with your own visual cues for this. I try and use that kind of dark section of the half pipe to do it. You jump, you get a kiss, and it forces you through the half pipe, which then allows you to spawn on the other side of the trap. And you just boost into bottom point, and you're done. Like I said, it's worth knowing, worth going for, because otherwise you're doing literally nothing in the half pipe. But please don't reset early on over this. It's your choice, but please.